All right, we are at Publix and we're about to get a pub sub, which is my favorite thing to do whenever we go to Florida. I feel like this is the only line you would willingly wait in. We were just talking with uh, Angela here. Do you want to share real quick kind of like any battles that you guys went through here in, in 2020? So I work with kids with disabilities, but I also work with a lot of social emotional needs and we have seen such an uprise in anxiety and depression and uh, just really trying to help these children get grounded again. Just meeting him standing in line, he asked me what my favorite sub was. I'm like, what? And then the next thing you know, he's talking about something I'm passionate about. So it's just really great that you are, you know, putting this out there to help kids find resources so that they can have hope. Because yep. we're sick right now. Our country is sick. Like, in every arena, it feels like. Yeah. So, if you have people in your corner, lean on them. Um, and if you can go to a teacher or even as someone that's a leader in your school, um, go to them and ask them for help. If you feel hopeless, don't give up. There's always a way. Um, there's never a permanent solution to a temporary problem. There's always a way out. These are so good. Yeesh. Look at that. We're wearing the same shoes <laughs> from Amazon Shoe Gang. <laughs> That's awesome. We'll see you later. Oh boy. Yeah, it's been too long. I remember my first time getting a pub sub. at the Florida State Capitol in Tallahassee. We're passing out our Billy Gaines. Follow us on YouTube cards. Spreading the word about Battle of Gaines. Our word of the day today is to drink a gallon of water or however much water you can drink. Put down the soda pop, drink more water. We're traveling to every single state in the country on the U.S. Gaines store. So today it's Florida Gaines. Make sure you're following our account here with Battle of Gaines. Please help us spread the word about Battle of Gaines by liking or sharing our video. We're really reaching out to a lot of teachers and parents who have a lot of struggling students or uh, you know, children who are trying to make gains in life. But guys, please make sure you drink a gallon of water today or like I said, however much you can. Thank you so much for following us on the journey as we travel to every single state in the country on the U.S. Gain Store. This is Tallahassee, Florida. It's a beautiful state. It's a sunshine state. So thank you so much, guys. We'll see you in the next day. What do you think about it? I like it. It's got a certain friend to it. Hey, I know you love the state capitals, but uh, Hey, you know, we're gonna be in Florida for a couple of days and uh, we don't have to go to another state capital for like four or five days now because we're gonna be hanging out with family here. We're gonna be going mm -hmm. on to the Keys. It's Jack's birthday. Mm -hmm. So I, I know you love going to the state capitals, Kate, but uh, unfortunately, <laughs> we're not gonna be able to see another state capital Aww, until we go to so South upsetting. Carolina. Are you gonna miss it? No. Just soak it in right now. Soak it in. Let's go to the beach. All right. <laughs> Hey guys, there's a lot of reasons why one would want to move to Florida, including myself. There are 21 million people here, but that doesn't stop 1,000 people every single day from moving to Florida. And I can see why there's no state income tax. There's, I think, 600 plus some beaches. The food here is delicious. The culture is diverse. The sports are intense. And there's a lot of other amazing reasons why one would want to move to Florida with all of the attractions and all the outdoor and indoor activities. But as you can see here, we're making a nice drive here to our first beach right outside of Tallahassee called Shell City uh, Point Beach. It is very cool to see how the houses are set up almost on stilts to make it so that if there's any storms or water flooding that they would not have their houses damaged. A lot of nice houses here. And another reason why one would want to move to Florida is that it doesn't break the bank to live here, but down here it might. We really enjoyed our time here and before we headed to our next stop in uh, Florida, which is going to be Bradenton, we stopped at a little Quiz 2's diner and it was pretty cool to see the different dollar bills and all the different people that have signed the dollar bills there. We got some oysters and some french fries and then we did something that I really have been enjoying doing lately which is uh, flying the drone while we drive the RV. As you can see here, we're on a bridge. Alright guys, we made it to Tampa. So we're about to park here somewhere and uh, we're looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow's Easter. 
So um, we're going to be hanging out with our Aunt Beth, Uncle Randy, cousins Krista and Ashley. And then we have a special surprise for someone who's going to make a really cool guest appearance on our vlog tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. got off the highway here in Bradenton, Florida, and that right there was my grandparents' car that they drove. With all the traveling we've been doing on the U.S. Game Store, I'm really excited that we get to spend some time with family for Easter. We're going to be at my Aunt Beth's house, and I'm excited to see my Grandpa Arnie. Aunt Beth! <laughs> oh my gosh! Can you see where it's where it went? Right there. He's lost so much weight that his pants are falling off. I'm okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Brody has loved that mac and cheese. Is this crazy? All right, Grandpa. Is that me? Yes, sir. We're traveling around America, and we're asking people one question. What is the biggest battle that you went through in 2020, last year? Last year? I ran for governor. <laughs> you ran for governor? I ran for governor. How did it go? Good. Did you win? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa. Amen. Amen. You knew it. Any, anything you want to say to, to the people? I say I think it's very nice to have you as a part of our team. <laughs> uh, this is my Aunt Beth. We are in Florida. We had a great time hanging out with you for, uh, for Easter here. It was so much fun having you and Caitlin. And thank you for the beautiful flowers and the, oh, that delicious peach cobbler you brought us from good. Alabama it was mighty good for dessert today. We left my Aunt Beth's house. We had a great time there and we headed down towards the Keys. I've never made it all the way down to Key West. I've only made it to Key Largo. So I'm really excited to take Caitlin down there and see what we can get into. What's up guys, it's Monday, April 5th. We are at Mrs. Max Kitchen. Kayla and I were talking about whether it's good for a young guy like me to be calling people, because I used to serve uh, Sweetheart and Doll. You don't think I should call people? No. Sweetheart? Here's your... I mean, last night at the Texas Roadhouse, the guy was like, and what can I get for you, Sweetheart? And Did I you do that like, to you? Yeah. Did he? Yeah. He called you Sweetheart? Yeah. Jeff? Yeah. At Texas Roadhouse? Yeah. In front of me? <laughs> well, we're definitely stopping back at that Texas Roadhouse on the way back. Huh? <laughs> we're headed towards Key West. We're gonna go through Key Largo's, Merodo, and Marathon. So hopefully we'll get some cool videos today. And uh, there's no state capital today, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Weather's pretty nice. We're gonna go to the beach, get some cool drone shots, scoot around a little bit. The huge. Or is it not the huge? The Florida Keys are a string of tropical islands stretching about 120 miles off the southern tip of the state of Florida between the Atlantic Ocean and Gulf of Mexico. They're known as a destination for fishing, boating, snorkeling, and scuba diving. The southernmost city of Key West is famous for Duval Street's many bars, and that's where we'll be going later on tonight, and we're really excited about it. I just went to like pick the drone up and I totally cut my hand up. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. On what? On the blades. They were still spinning. I went to pick it up. Did it hurt? Nah, I'm all right. You ever seen anything like it? Never, actually. Alright guys, we are in Marathon, and we just uh, talked to some guys over here, and we're gonna go on the jet ski. So, Caitlin's 
super excited. All right, you ready to take this boater's license exam? See how we did? Click below to see your results. Fingers crossed, Kate. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous too. 96! Congratulations, you passed with a 96%. We ended up going 12 freaking miles, and it wasn't too easy to find our way back, but we did it. We went all the way to Seven Mile Bridge, I believe was the name of it, and we actually got to go under the bridge, so that was pretty cool. We parked at a awesome RV park called Boyd's, and it was really cool to be able to park the RV Oceanside definitely some amazing views that will probably be one of the best places we've been at uh, on the u.s gains tour we ate at a little place called rustica just got a couple appetizers went back to the rv and we took a nap we went for a five mile scooter ride together on the same scooter duval street was awesome we enjoyed hanging out and checking out the different businesses there. We got some ice cream, walked around, talked to a couple different business owners and heard how they were impacted by the COVID-19 last year. The hammock stores were awesome. We got to hang out for a little bit and it was a real pleasure. I definitely recommend going to Duval Street if you're ever in the Keys. We stopped at a couple shops on our way from the Keys to my brother's house in Fort Lauderdale. And as we were shopping, we just kept on thinking about how important it is nowadays, especially to support local. With everything that happened with COVID-19, it was definitely interesting to hear all the different stories of the businesses that got shut down. And so just do your best as you can to support local and, and shop local. And it's kind of cool as well because you definitely can find a lot of cool things that you wouldn't find at the big box stores. Woke up Wednesday morning and as you can see here we hung out in Jack's pool and I did some water therapy. We're gonna have a good time for Jack's 24th birthday today. We're gonna be going down to the Fort Lauderdale Beach.
You wanna you wanna interview me? Alright guys, this is our last day in Florida. It's Jack's twenty fourth birthday. What would you say Jack was your biggest battle in two thousand twenty? Two thousand twenty was a, a historical year. I was blessed to have just moved to Florida at the end of 2019, right after Christmas. I was able to start the whole year in Florida, 2020, fresh, and then COVID hit. I had just got a new job at the Florida East Coast Railroad, and then right away we were having to work from home, and so just that shift, and then getting COVID, that was like pretty tough. You know, I was pretty sick, um, but my friends and I fought through it. So just, you know, the, the couple of battles were just having COVID hit, and, having that change up everything with, you know, social interactions and like, but it was, it was nice to be here for COVID, I guess, you know, I was thankful to have some friends around and so 2020, it was a terrible year, but it was a good year too, you know, it was a good year, honestly, it might've been, been, might been the best crazy. year of my life. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. What would be your inspiration or maybe some motivation you've got for our world changers? Reach out to your people, <laughs> talk to your people, keep working hard to find out who you are, what you want. Robinson. It's nice to have you here. I'm on my 24th birthday on another year of life. We're going to learn an adult kind of a year of life. It's, it's nice to have you all here and have some family visiting, having some friends, having a barbecue. You know, so. Zoom in on that team. Own trips. You a big girl. Buy your own shit. We had a great time hanging out in Florida and making this vlog. It was our longest vlog yet on the U.S. Game Star, a whole five days. But we had a great time hanging out with friends and family in Florida. And we're going to be headed towards Columbia, South Carolina next, so stay tuned to that. Fort Lauderdale is the Venice of America. It's got the most canals, it's got the most yachts. It's the mega yacht capital of the world. And I call it my backyard. <laughs> I think it's uh, I think it's global. Born in the I was born here. This matches the wood. Right, say, say what you're doing as you're doing this, Jake. Classy. So right now I'm just putting in the places I've been. So I was born in West Michigan. Went to school in Lansing. While I was in school in Lansing, I went down here to Warrnambool. And Washington D.C. Here, I spent my 21st birthday. And now I'm gonna put one down here in Florida Woo. where I spent my 24th birthday. It's been absolutely great. Will and Caitlin, Billy Gaines. It's been real, Florida. See ya in South Carolina or Michigan <laughs> or maybe somewhere out west. <laughs> All right, bro, we're gonna head to North Carolina. All right. So, I brought y'all wash up first. Happy birthday. Thank you. It's good to meet y'all. Good to hang out. Yeah, it's good to meet you, man. It's good to meet you, bro. Some fun. I might just jump in the pool. Ah, sure. <laughs>